What's up guys, once again, a world premiere here on Mixbus TV. Acoustica Audio releases Dove. And I don't know what you're thinking, no, it's not the same. This is not just for correction, this is a full-blown dynamic processor. They call it harmonic compressor. And in this video, I will go in details and explain you why it sounds and behaves differently from other offerings alike. But here in short, the main reasons. One, we have analog modeling profiles that other plugins don't have, combined with a smoothing algorithm. And the smoothing algorithm, which is something that every company does differently and they kind of keep it secret, well, this one is kind of a proprietary blend, we can call it. Long story short, to me, Dove sounds more transparent than other plugins alike when used for corrections, and it has a much more versatile transferring curve. But let me tell you everything about it. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Misfest TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, check the info box down below for free plugins, special discounts and offers. And of course, link to Acoustica Audio Dove. If you haven't already, please go check out the new website, mixbustv.com. In there, you can find all the mix and mastering courses, start to finish on many different genres. And there's a brand new one, Mastering Alt Rock, featuring Easy T. If you want to access the exclusive videos here on YouTube, click the join button, become a Mixbus TV member. You also get missed consultations. And if the videos are helping you, you want to support the channel, consider using the super thanks or grab some merch. Let's get to the video. Here we have our GUI for Acoustica Dove, which I really like. There's also a flat version if you don't want the 3D graphic. I've already started telling you how Dove is different from other plugins such as Smooth Operator or Spectral Shape or Sooth. Basically, Dove is not just a spectral processor, it's a harmonic compressor like Acoustica Audio defined it. And we have in it two components. The first one is that it's based on analog modeling curves. You can see them here and you can probably recognize the name Sand, El Ray, Gold, Magenta and Nickel. And you have options for each one, Diode, Varimu Soft, opto hard, fat hard, and so on. This is important because it's unique to Dove. So the behavior of the dynamic section here at the top, you can see this right in dynamics with the arrow, it's controlled given the same parameters, so attack reduction and release by the reduction style. And later on in the video, I will solo the delta function and change these profiles so you can hear how these profiles change completely the behavior and that in turn will help you being either more efficient in the processing or more transparent depending on how we are using it. We have three options for resolution, normal, mega and giga. We also have three different sizes, an input and output sliders here on the left and the right, bypass button at the bottom and the monitoring options. So stereo, mid, side or delta. The controls are pretty much self-explanatory, the attack, the reduction and the release. The reduction knob controls the actual amount of processing happening within, this is important, the range. So the range knob here determines the maximum amount of reduction that we want to do. And within that range, the reduction will apply the processing, which is going to be dynamic, controlled by the reduction style. Next to the range, we have the smoothness knob. On the left, you can expect a familiar behavior on this. It does what it says on the tin, it smooths out the material. The difference, again, the algorithm of this smoothing processing. The next one on the right is the selectivity. It changes the number of bands used in the processing. Lower counterclockwise, higher as you turn it clockwise. Here's another difference. Dove can use up to a 250th of octave, which is more bands than any other processor out there. We have then a continuous slider, left and right, so stereo, mid or side, so you can seamlessly blend the processing and where you applied it. We also have a makeup gain slider and a drive wet slider here at the top also a link versus unlink stereo. And then there's another thing. Top right, you can see we have a phase and a phase slider that goes from mean to linear. This actually, the guys at Acoustica told me was not easy to create. And it's again, quite unique. The fact that you can, I'm tempted to say blend, but it's not, is more like morphing from minimum phase to linear phase. So you can really fine tune based on what you need. If you need linear phase, but the full linear phase gives you a little bit of pre-ringing 
or a little bit of artifacts, you can back it off a little or vice versa. And then we have the big display with a visual representation of what's going on. Now, let me explain you how to read this. It's pretty easy, but there's a couple of things to pay attention. So if I run some music in it, you can see we have three different curves. The smooth one in the background here, this is the plugin creating an average of the material that you fit it. Then we have the range, which you can see if I move the range knob changes, which is this darker blue at the bottom. And then we have the overimposed bright blue. This is actually the reduction range. So it shows you the actual processing happening. So you can see if I put the reduction at zero, there's nothing happening below the horizontal line. If I turn the reduction up, you can see the processing happening. The next is selectivity. So we said this one changes the bands, right? If you want a smooth operation like this, or if you want to be very selective, you turn the sensitivity on and you can see the number of bands increases, like I said, up to 250th of octave. So nothing is as precise as this one. Also have here this dynamic LED bar. You can see it jumping right now. This is expressed in dB and it's another metering that shows you the gain reduction because again, this is a harmonic compressor. It's a dynamic processor. Last, we have our EQ-like nodes here. And these are basically your internal side chain for your dynamic processor, right? If you boost something, the compressor is going to react more to that range. If you cut it, it's going to react less to that range. And we also have, of course, the filter if you want to really narrow down the area where you want to work. I'm going to do a couple of tests and show you how it sounds. And then, like I said, I'm going to show you the different reduction styles, which are really one thing that make Dove different. We're going to start with the vocals. This vocal is a little bit harsh, as you will hear. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. All right, let me go into oversampling. Of course, we have oversampling up to eight by. I'm gonna go resolution mega, and I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna leave the reduction style in default, which is VCA hard send. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. All right, those are my settings. I'm pushing it so you can hear the action, but you probably already picked how transparent this thing is without. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. And I'm of course exaggerating. You can see how much I'm compressing, but I'm just gonna up the smoothness and actually go higher in reduction and range. And I'm just gonna blend it with the dry signal. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. That to me is already one of the most transparent processing of this kind. I'm gonna play with the knobs a little bit. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Without again? All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. With it? All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. That's really impressive. I don't hear any veil that sometimes I heard with other processors. I like this first portion here. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just. But every little stab just takes me further down. That's quite impressive. And 
just to show you i'm gonna up the selectivity here but every little step just takes me further down i found my soul just waiting in the lost and found but every little step just takes me further down i can go all the way up with the selectivity and i don't hear any of those chirping sounds that you often hear uh, in processing alike and you also see my other controls the attack at zero so i am stressing the plugin quite a lot let me try on a full mix i have a mix that a client sent me to master i'm gonna use the mix it was a little harsh i'm gonna start bypass and dial in the settings So I've been pushing, of course, to find the right settings, to find the right corner frequency with the sidechain EQ and then adjusting all the knobs. But I'm sure you can hear the action and you can hear the difference. Now, because we are on a complex source like this, I feel this is the best example to show you the reduction style. Now, if you notice one thing, on this mix, I had a hard time finding the right amount because it was a little too much and then not efficient enough and it was kind of tricky and a little bit too sensitive in that regard, where this is when the reduction style and the analog modeling come into play. So I'm just going to get a little too much reduction, put it in delta mode and then change the reduction style. Check this out. All right, you probably now understand how important those reduction styles are. For example, the fat hard for Magenta 2 is quite heavy, right? There's a lot of gain reduction and I'm not touching the range or the reduction settings. While the Varimu and the Opto are much more mellow, the transfer curve is different. How much is pushing those resonances, those harmonics down? This one vocal was given me as part of a project that I was mixing is a loop vocal. So this is how it came and listen to this. Feel the rhythm, feel the bass, feel the rhythm, move your feet. It's time to move it. The DJ spinning records round and round. We can't refuse it. Feel the rhythm, feel the bass. Feel the rhythm, move your feet. It's time to move it. The DJ spinning records round and round. We can't refuse it. Feel the rhythm, feel the bass. Feel the rhythm, move your feet. It's time to move it. 
the DJ spinning records round and round. We can't refuse it. Feel the rhythm, feel the bass. Feel the rhythm, move your feet. It's time to move it. Feel the rhythm, feel the Especially passes like this. Let's focus on it. It's time to move 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 it. A quite wide range of action, not only between the range and the reduction to decide how much, but with the reduction styles, you think of Dove more as a compressor than a spectral fixer, just to fix problems. Because I'm focusing right now on the harsh consonants and S's and stuff like that, simply because it's easier to hear. But you can go down in range and set it to control low end if you have to on a mix. And I'm gonna do that as last example. You can do also, because we have an external side chain, let's say you have the fun task of mixing vocals on a pre-master beat, right? And it's already smashed and everything. You can actually put Dove on the beat, on the music part, you side chain, external side chain the vocals to it, so the vocals will trigger the spectral and dynamic compression and suppression on the beat, and it will gel better together, I promise you that. So let me try to control instead low end with this. Alright, so there, when I switch from the Varimu to the Fat, which is drop the low end so much. Again, one more example of how important it is that you spend time and understand the vario reduction styles. And uh, most likely acoustic audio will add more, so we will have even more versatility. But again, Dove is not just for S's or hard consonants. It's great at it. You can really control any part of the spectrum, multiple parts of the spectrum in a very natural way. I'm already thinking about uses of Dove in mastering, definitely. And this is it for the video. Let me know what you think. If you have questions, leave everything in the comments down below. This was Acoustica Dove. The link is gonna be in the info box. If you wanna access the exclusive videos here on YouTube, click the join button, become a Mixbus TV member. Go to the new website, mixbustv.com for all the mix and mastering courses. There's a brand new one, Mastering Alt Rock and another one coming out in a couple of weeks. Check out Bella Kelly's new single, Goodbye, available on all platforms. If you have questions about that mix, let me know. There's also a live acoustic version featuring Monty Pittman. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time. Hands on my